Let's have a quick chat about the concept of dispersion. Dispersion is one of the few concepts in year 11 where there's enough content to actually ask a three or a four mark explain type question. So how do we go about answering a three mark question about dispersion? Firstly, we need to understand what dispersion actually is. And we basically say it's when white light shines into a prism and the white light breaks up into different colors. So how do we actually explain how it breaks up into these different colors? Because don't particular media have different refractive indices? And say for a glass prism, that refractive index is constant. Now what you may not know is refractive index is actually defined at a particular wavelength. And that is the refractive index at the sodium doublet D line, which is about 589 nanometers. Now how refractive index changes as a function of wavelength is given by the following equation. One of my old mass lecturers used to say, I can tell who's actually been paying attention in class on how they actually pronounce this guy's name. Guaranteed, you're thinking Cauchy. It's actually pronounced Cauchy. So this is the Cauchy transmission equation, because he's some French guy. And basically what it's saying is the refractive index at a given wavelength depends inversely on the wavelength itself. So as wavelength increases, the refractive index actually decreases. And if the refractive index decreases for longer wavelengths, then the longer wavelengths actually bend less when they enter the prism. Okay, which you can see in the diagram above, red is bending the least as it enters the prism. So if we just remember Roy G. Biv, where R is red and red is the longest wavelength, we would expect red to bend the least when it enters the prism. Whereas down the opposite end is violet. Violet is the shortest wavelength, and according to this equation, it should bend the most. Now a little kind of misleading phrase that's often used is blue bends best, and that's to help you understand that the shorter wavelengths bend more. It's actually not blue bends best because violet is shorter wavelength than blue, and therefore violet actually bends more than blue. So for year 11, you're expected to know dispersion is when white light goes into a prism and it breaks up into its constituent colors. It's useful to remember Roy G. Biv, where R is the longest wavelength and violet is the shortest wavelength. It's useful to remember that the longer wavelengths actually experience a lower refractive index. Koshi, koshi, koshi. And therefore red bends the least and violet bends the most. You could also support your answer with Snell's law, showing that longer wavelengths that experience a lower refractive index also have a lower angle of refraction. Easy peasy, got you an extra mark.